Hey guys, I'm here today to talk to you about the Weber Tactical Gamer line of holsters. There are three holsters that encompass the Gamer line. The first holster we have is the Weber Tactical Gamer Edition USPSA style holster. This holster is USPSA and IDPA legal. It has a front cut that cuts the top and then goes down to the appropriate place on the breech. As you can see, we're perfectly USPSA and IDPA legal and the top of the gun is more exposed. This is more of a speed draw type holster. The gun sits in there, gives a positive snap, but then is very loose to be able to come out. This holster offers no protection for the upper portion of the gun, such as you would want in 3-gun. This is a USPSA style holster. The second holster we have is the Gamer Edition 3-gun holster. If you're going to shoot 3-gun, you want a holster that covers the top of the gun. You don't want anything exposed on the top that could hook on a slide or on a barricade or on a tunnel that you're crawling through, things along that line. You want as much of the gun protected as is possible. This particular holster has the MLK hood, which is an attachment that you can get as an addition to the Gamerline holster. You don't necessarily have to order the hood, but if you want to, you can have this attached. Please note that all Gamerline 3 gun holsters are going to come drilled for the hood. This holster protects the entire gun, has the hood, so you don't have to worry about the gun coming out super fast, and that's the explanation on that. This particular holster is not set up for an RMR cut, though. This holster will accommodate any RMR that you want to place on a 2011. This is the three-gun holster. This holster is available with or without the hood. Please note, if you do select to purchase the MLK hood on a slide ride holster, 90% of the time it will work. It also depends on your draw though. We cannot ensure 100% of the time that the hood won't come into contact with the RMR. A lot of it depends on the shooter and how they have it mounted on their body and the draw stroke. If you're a shooter that draws straight up, rocks forward and punches out, you'll be just fine. If you're a shooter that draws forward and pushes the gun forward to come up here, you're probably going to run into some issues. So these are the three that you have. You have the USPSA cut in the Gamer Edition. You have the three gun with the MLK hood. You have the three gun with the RMR cut with or without the hood options. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and we hope to see you in a match someday.